Hi, welcome to the OC. My name, OC Hamilton, aka OCI. And on today's show, first of all, I want to big up um, the group on Facebook, The Feed, for um, all the support. And so big up Scar Red Niles and Alistair for posting it up, although I didn't get much response from it. But I now start, so we're working on that. Right? So again, thanks for the support from The Feed. Look out for um, lots more. Story. My first story comes from a story that I actually saw on the wall there, which is that I was on Facebook and I was looking at the feed and they had a story, someone posted a story about this going to bring out a gay Bible, right, with, um, and replace Mary and Joseph with Joseph, with Mary and Josephine, Adam and Steve and a whole bunch of other controversial stuff, right, so I looked into it and it reali I realized that the article was actually a hoax and it was not real and the bible was not coming out but i did some deeper research and i realized that there was or there is a gay bible but it came out a long time ago and um there are a lot of people against it right uh, and so i wanted to get your views on it what do you think about a gay bible because the fact still remains i have people out there supporting it because one guy even remarked he was like i have 166 versions of the bible so why should there's be such an issue so you know there are people in favor of this so i want to know your opinion do you think that gay people should have a bible do you think that it doesn't matter to you or you know do you not care at all let me know what you think in the comments below moving on to the next story which is about facebook facebook launched its ipo on friday so for those of you who don't know what ipo is is the initial public offering Right now, for those of you who don't know what an initial public offering is, basically in a nutshell, Facebook starts selling stock, stock of their company of Facebook to the public. Now, what did that, does that mean for the average user? What does that mean for me and you that Facebook is now selling stock? Well, for one, Facebook will get more money, right? And it doesn't really mean anything to you or me unless you intend to be buying stock from Facebook, right? And in that case, in a couple of months, some of you might get a return on the investments and whatnot. Do you make money? Facebook might get money. Everybody happy. But when um, Zuckerberg was approached by, by, by it, he responded by saying that he doesn't upgrade his services on Facebook to make money. He makes money to upgrade services on Facebook. So according to what he says, you can look forward to extra features coming on Facebook because he now has more money to upgrade it technically but basically it doesn't matter nothing is going to change Mark Zuckerberg is going to have lots more money and you are still going to be Facebook broke yes there's actually an agreement with by the time you join Facebook anything that you post right he can use it and you and, and anything he wants and you don't get a cent and that's the reality of it yes it's true check it out so you know that's facebook for you, you know getting a dime and so the is making more money and because he has more money he may further be able to upgrade facebook that's the gist of it right now for the stock the stock went up stock went down and it is right now at 30 us dollars for a share right and it seems to be level like that some people expected it to skyrocket but it didn't you know so facebook has stuff online check it out if you want to buy it if not whatever nothing changes <laughs> okay so going into the last story of today which is about digicel again and i knew i spoke about digicel last week when i introduced when i talked about them introducing the their 4g network but I'll to elaborate on it more because I did some research about it and I raised the question now is Digicel really 4G? and the answer to that is no a lot of networks aren't 4G now there are only two 4G commercial 4G technologies available right now which are LTE and WiMAX no network in Trinidad and Tobago has that right but according to this or this um, body right here right this international body that regulates um, this international body that regulates 
what a 4G network is defined as, which I'll put right here, says that even if you have a 3G network, once it is able to surpass a particular speed, you can deem it as a 4G network. And that is what is happening. Now, this is a claim to offer 2 megabytes um, download speeds, right, which is very good, right? But the average 4G network should give you a user experience of at least 5 megabytes to 10 megabytes, right, download speeds. But, you know, Trinidad again. So, my question is, I'm not branding B, um, Digital as a liar or them having an inferior service because I never really had hands-on experience about it. So, I'm asking you, the viewers, to leave some comments below if you have a Digicel with a 4G plan on it and let me know, does it move fast? Does it move fast everywhere you go? Do you stream videos without it sticking in HD or do you have to lower the settings? Do have you ever had a Skype call over it in the middle of the street or in a public place or even at home? You know, let me know what you think about Digicel's 4G network, alright? So that brings us to the end of this episode of the OC. And before I go, I just want to say that a lot of a lot of people watch the show, but I realize that they don't like, subscribe, or favorite, or even comment much. Now, because I always on YouTube, and I see a lot of YouTubers say like, comment, subscribe, you know, and now I know why, because most people just watch it and then close the screen and or click something else. Now, I would really like for you to comment if you have something to say, like the video if you like the video, and subscribe if you want to see more. Of these videos it really helps out a lot you know to feedback and why should do better or not so that concludes today's episode and my name OC Hamilton aka OCI and always remember many people one love best